Today is uh, March 23rd, 2018, and uh, what I am doing is I'm going to compare two anti-radiation phone cases um, that I've used. Um, one is, the first one is uh, a safe sleeve uh, phone case. Um, again, it's a, it's a nice case. I had this for my Samsung Galaxy S6 and the second case is uh, by RF Safe. Um, again, looks like a nicer case, Safe Sleeve does, but uh, we're going to put them to the test. Uh, this is also for uh, the uh, Galaxy S6. Um, I went ahead and purchased the new uh, Samsung Galaxy S9. The phone is currently on an active call, um, so I called it from home. Uh, and I'm going to utilize two different meters. The first meter is a tri field meter, measures uh, magnetic, uh, electric, and also radio uh, microwave radiation. Um, we're going to go ahead and initially turn it on and set it to the magnetic 0 to 100 range. And you can see on the needle um, that it's at times pegging the, uh, the meter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the safe sleeve. And the front of the case is what contains the anti-radiation material. I'm going to go ahead and put this in front of the phone and see if we get any reduction. Okay, so there is safe sleeve. Boy, I'm not seeing a whole lot. Earlier we saw some reduction in, in the EMFs, but kind of in this case it's not doing a whole lot. Okay, let's take the uh, RF safe case and let's do the same thing. Pretty dramatic. Without RF safe. Let's take the safe sleeve again. Maybe at times seeing some slight reduction, but it's still it's still up there, and you can see uh, that's RF safe there. Okay, so in regards to magnetic radiation, RF safe is definitely the winner. Now we're going to go ahead and shut down the uh, tri field. And I'm going to utilize, uh, it's a cornet, so it's not a super, super elaborate uh, RF meter, but this measures radio frequency radiation, uh, similar to microwave. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. Again, I am on an active call, and I'm going to tilt this meter a little bit so that uh, you can see there's numerical readings as well as a light meter. So you can see we're getting some red spikes uh, coming up there. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, try to keep it tilted so that we uh, can see it on the camera. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, safe sleeve in front, and it looks like we do get some reduction in RF with the safe sleeve, which is good. That's without... Let's see. Yeah, we'll put it closer. You can see we're getting some red spikes. With safe sleeve, there is some reduction. Now let's take RF safe. Do the same thing. RF safe. Also showing. A reduction in RF radiation. There we go. Yeah, I've got to point that camera. So that's RF safe. Okay. Safe sleeve again. Every now and then we still get a little red spike coming in every now and then. But we do get some, some reduction. 
and RF safe. Okay, show the case there. The case. It's RF safe. So, my conclusion between the two cases is that RF safe is definitely superior. Uh, they are going to be coming out with a new case for the uh, Galaxy S9, uh, hopefully within the month. Um, and the other thing I just learned today is that uh, this is one of the older uh, phone cases. RF safe apparently has improved their technology on this case. So I'm expecting even better results uh, with the new case. And I'll post a video when I actually receive the new case and, and try it out. Uh, but overall, between uh, Safe Sleeve and RF Safe, this is definitely the winner. RF Safe uh, reduces radiation uh, to a greater degree. All right, hope it helps. Thank you.